Howdy all, this is Texas Gaming Industries here, and welcome back to another episode on my Let's Play at Transport Fever 2 Free Mode Edition. In the previous episode, we basically connected to both the towns of Pine Valley and Whiskey, and basically we're just about to finish the completion of the entirety of the line between these two communities, and to also eventually operate our new services. So in this episode, we're going to basically take care of some of the most important aspects of finishing this operation. Connecting the two towns together, and then signaling them so they can basic so the trains can basically operate in the correct directions. Now let's see. Oh, which reminds me, before we continue, we also need to I need to show you all some of the coolest some new things. One of these being the well turntable. This is because I plan to use. A small diesel rail car on this particular section of the line. The rail car we have right now from the previous episode is based. Well, technically, I think it was released at this part in the previous episode. But, anyways, this rail car will basically need to have a turntable at both ends so it can easily be turned around for the return trip back. That out of the way. We'll add a double slip switch, and we'll start adding the signals along the route. We'll have this particular signal, and this signal. This basically for entering a station, and this for exit, which will basically be here, here, along with this, and this. These two for junctions. A small dwarf signal for this, for the tracks that lead to the turntable. And basically, for the rest of the route going down, using these types of signals. Along the section of track, and basically nearing the steel truss bridge over the river. I'm still proud on how I was able to build this bridge with this little outer pass here. I bet a lot of in-game rail fans would basically like to take pictures of the trains passing by. Alright. Let's see. Whiskey Oil Sand Mine. Let's see. That's needed at the separation plant near Kingsburg. Oh, that reminds me, I gotta finish the, build, the, the, the rest of the track. There we go. Now, with that out of the way, we can now start adding down the switches for this new for, this, for the new engine house that will basically use, be used to serve our equipment. Yeah, this will look good. No, I didn't want to build a, a, a depot. Well, a ship dock. Oh. Guess I'll have to basically make it like this. Because this, this curve is so small, it's basically causing a little bit of a problem. That means I'll have to set up a one-way version of these dwarf signals. As well as placing down this. Alright. With that out of the way, now we can place down the train depot, remove that, and before we do that again, we'll need to start, we need to get people to travel to these stations so they can catch their trains. For that, we're going to basically start adding electrified trolley lines to the town of Whiskey, and then connect to the town and operate a bus service in Pine Valley. First of all, a pair of stations right next to the residential areas, one near the commercial district, and another here at the industrial district. Fun fact is, the original train fever actually had a fourth designation area, Leisure. However, this was removed for train transport fever 1 and then 2. So yeah, there was four districts, now it's just mainly three. 
with that in place for the trolleys, now all we just need to do is just add the ones for the roads here and then up here. That bus service up there is going to make a lot of money. Now with that in place, all we need to do is this, this, and this. And this will be known as Trolley Service D1. I'm going to switch over to the trolleys. And then just make the same route on the way back. Which will be Trolley Service D2. No, I don't want to make it brown. I want to make it orange. Now, for the trolleys... Oh, great. Oh, I see the problem. The signal is blocking both the commuter train and the express train. I could turn this around, but there's no way to get it back into the station. Thankfully, I could just set a, a double slip switch there. But that means I'll have to get rid of these two signals that lead to the Y. Alright, now with that out of the way, we can now get back to focusing on the trolleys. Now, trolley service A1 and A2 feature the Manx 1893 cars. This one features the Peterwitz, and these feature the Lost Haven trams. So, I'm swapping these for the 1900 era Manx electric trolleys, replacing this variant with the Peterwitz streetcars. And finally, for this one, it's going to basically be four of these Lost Haven trams. Basically based off of the ones from the game Mafia, the original one. Although they state that these trolleys were around in 1930, but this particular model was made, is based off of another trolley model. They still look the part. As for this, we need to get a bus service. We'll connect the two certain towns, two bus stops, and call this Bus Service G. We'll change it to yellow, and we'll basically start adding a pair of these buses. There was supposed to be a mod that would later be available to use. Unfortunately, somehow the game does not recognize that outside source mod, so I had to remove it from my arsenal. Finally, we can now get started on operating our own service. Now let's see, yellow is for buses, green is for trolleys, this is for freight trains for towns, this is for freight trains on the main line, red is for express, gray is for locals, brown is for ships, orange is for trolleys, purple is for trucks to delivering commodities in, uh, air routes are red, oh, I mean white, let's see, hmm. Let's go with light lime green instead. And this will be known as rail car service A. Because, like I stated, I basically am using a diesel rail car instead of using basically a steam power train. As in multiple units, we got ourselves the M300 diesel rail car. Waste all of the California Western's M300 diesel rail car. Now, before the recent updates that allowed the model to be changed, this particular model had the M300 lettering as well as the California Western skunk logo. And oh, look at that! We got ourselves some new locomotives. Right now, however, I'll need to basically get started on replacing some of the equipment we already have. And we're back. All the express trains that I had mentioned earlier have now been replaced with much more modern locomotives. If we could find one of them, of course. Like this one. This prototype 464 Hudson the 200 is now in charge of the express service between Leamington and Woodsburg. This engine is a lot faster and can handle heavier loads. All the while, I feel like it's time to basically start building up to one of the last major towns in the area, Cedar Point. Cedar Point is a big city, of course, but it does need a good connection to the outside world. So, we'll basically use one particular station type. 
Grand Central Station of New York City, aka Penn Station. It's gonna basic. Let's see. It's gonna be four tracks, but the distance between will be about 360 meters because of the station's length. Now, plus the station building can be placed on any side of the road. But I'm going to place it right here, right next to many of the major areas of town. I'll just have to curve this a little bit to basically make it fit. I guess this will do. And then, I want to basically lay a road around it. So later on, cars can be... houses can spawn in this area. But I'll have to basically, uh level the ground a bit to basically make it a little, a little more neater. This will be known as Cedar Point Central Terminal. And now, time to basically get started on extending its track. Thankfully, I have the catenary system set up. So, for the station, it's going to have the two main tracks here are going to be used for express trains. While, track on the, while the track on the left and the right of these two will be used for express service, will be used for commuter trains. We'll need to use this type of tunnel. Make this track flat. And then basically do this. And basically finish. Build this track. Although I could basically do this as well, it would look a little bit odd right next to a cutting that has this tunnel piece right here. I mean, I could do this, but it might look a little uh, weird. Eh, I'm pretty sure it'll look fine, but it does, however, ruin the, this particular tunnel. This tunnel was designed for two tracks, not more. So instead, I'm just basically going to curve it out. It's going to have a 50 mile an hour curve going up, and then it's going to be straight. Same thing on this side. 50 miles an hour. And then going straight. I gotta replace this tunnel with a little better one. Because these tunnels that I'm using, they're, they're good, but I want to basically make them a little more long-lasting. We'll also do that. Curve the tracks to the right a bit. And then basically do this. need to place down the track straight again so I can at least build a switch to cross over. Fifty mile an hour curve and replace this bridge with an embankment. Alright, now that with it, now with it place, what I just need to do is finish building this cross over here, and then basically place down a catenary bridge to hold the wires up. Catenary wire here and here, and since this is going to be an electric main line, I feel like it should go over the road instead. Of Instead of crossing over, should basically have a bridge over the road instead. And I think I know the perfect bridge mod to use, the track mod to use. We're gonna use the ballasted tracks for the girder bridge. Not what I want, but there should be a variant somewhere that allows me to place down catenary. But I think this is basically fine as it is.
that looks a lot better. I'll then need to connect this section here, and then replace that section of bridge track with this variant. And plus, since bridges are basically built over trees, I want to at least get rid of them so the trees won't basically be hindered by the shade created by the bridge. Now then, let's see. I'll need a pair of these re-rail pieces at both ends of the bridge. Such as this, and this. Actually, since the Art Deco era is kind of fast approaching, maybe we can actually use this particular type. Ooh, high adjustment? No. Uh, what about high percentage? Will this work? Oh, it does pretty well. Uh, let me think. Hmm, actually, why not I basically put this right where the, the tension wires basically go up? And I built it on the... did it like that. Great. Let me see. There we go. And... there. Perfect. Now there should be... ah, here we are. Catenary for catenary bridges. Put them right here. And another one here. Looks a little bit odd, but hey, it matches into the groove of this one, so I can't complain. Alright, now with that done, time to basically continue with the rest of the construction now. It's gonna have an embankment, obviously, and basically go down a hill. I gotta change this into a catenary. Yep, catenary is okay on the bridge. I just wanted to make sure. Do that to make the grade a little more smoother going down. And then basically smooth it out straight. This a new electrified line will be the magnum opus of my operations. Once we basically get electric trains coming into the new station at Cedar Point, this basically means the only town left that we need to connect fully is the town of Granite, located right near Kingsburg. Once that is done, we basically will have completed connecting to every town on the map. And I used the wrong tunnel again. Great. A little pricier, but at least it has a much more aesthetic look. Okay, let me see. Is there a section of flat track in this particular part? Uh, I guess I'll have to basically hope for the best. Uh, no. Let's see. I guess I'll have to build a crop. I have to build this type of switch for this particular part. And basically add a new catenary pole for this particular section here. Alright. Do it like that, make it a bankment, because why not? Because I don't like making embankments unless uh, because embankments are only there for areas that don't go over like large bodies of water or something like that. I know height is the thing, but embankments basically can do the same. Because look, an embankment costs forty one thousand, this costs over a hundred and twenty thousand. 
I'd rather basically spend money on adding tons and tons of dirt underneath the track rather than just building a weird bridge that basically is going uphill. Alright, the new Cedar Point Y is finished. And after connect doing this connection, we can make it to the bankman as well. The new extension to Cedar Point is basically finished. However, though, I feel like that the tracks connecting to... I don't feel like that we have the equipment available to handle this new particular form of traffic. I'll eventually smooth this over by the time the next episode comes out. But other than that, the new Cedar Point line is finished. However, I do want to basically give the Cedar Point branch some freight traffic via the electric train. So let's see, Cedar Point Lubricants, let's see, it needs Cedar Point, Greenwood, and Shinestown. I already have Shinestown connected, and so does Greenwood. Now, the, the reason why I made this part electric is because I'm following the same way as the real New York City did, when they put a restriction on not having any locomotives that produce emissions going into New York. So... While electric passenger trains are clear to go into it, electric trains have to supply Cedar Point with freight. Oh, and we got several new Hudson-type locomotives. Hmm, what else? Oh yeah, I feel like the Fort well, to Union Pacific 9000 type will probably be a lot more powerful and a little bit stronger compared to the 282 As Day. 9,632 horses. That is really good for a freight train. Plus, the newly redesigned and seriously expressive okay. I'm sure the train's heavier with the new heavyweight coaches, but it's better than nothing. Plus, with lots of meat and coffee beans being brought in and a lot of other freight traffic, we're starting to make a bit of a money for making a name for ourselves. Speaking of which, let's see. Johnson cigarettes and Woodsburg packaging. I actually had been thinking on how I would tackle this. So, for the first time, I'm going to invest myself in an industry. Now, I could choose a whole bunch of different industries, and I could basically place one anywhere on the map. So, to help serve both the lumber mill here at the long to help serve both the to help serve this eventually from picking up logs there I'm building up this logging camp to serve this paper mill and I'm placing it smack dab in the middle of this forest here of course I need to get rid of some of the smaller trees that are in the way of the buildings All right, then just use the terrain tool just to med edit the ground around it so it basically looks a little more cleaner. But yeah, now we got ourselves a new logging camp that I've financed myself, and now logs can easily be brought down to the paper mill, which shortens the time though that the paper needs to be processed. But then I can pick up packaging cartons and bring them down to this food packaging plant. After I supply this with fruits, sugar, and water, we still have a lot of, lot of traffic to work with. Now, this gold products, Black Diamond City is the only one that needs them. And I have yet to, re and I realize I haven't even built a freight station in Black Diamond City or in Riverside. I'll have to fix that. But that will be for the next episode. So. I believe, with that all said and done, I think we have reached a good ending point for today's episode. So, if you enjoyed this episode of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to Texas Gaming Industries for new video uploads every Friday or Saturday, depending on my outside schedule. Oh! I forgot to check my vehicles. Let's see. Let's take a look at each vehicle and see if I'm still making a profit. Whoa, a lot of my vehicles haven't been making much of a profit. However, I still have a profitable truck, 
bus and some profitable buses and trucks. Still have profitable trolleys, although the two new ones are not making much money yet. Uh, trains. I still am making a profit on a freight, express, and a local. My ship's carrying lumber is making money, and so is my airplane. It actually finally reached a balance of over $1 million in, in revenue, which is great. And as for my company, it's 30 points. And the building looks, I think, still the same as it was the last time. But other than that, though, thank you very much for watching this episode of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2. And I'll be sure to see you all in the next episode. Bye!